this looks like a nice little log mover. Good morning, good morning. Benjamin and I, say hi Ben. Hi. We are headed to the Sugar Works first to finish helping load up the truck for the Paul Bunyan show. And then uh, gotta go to the farm and pick up a few things there. And then we will be headed to Cambridge, Ohio. I had to go back and get another hat because I was pretty sure that once I was in the maple syrup dunk tank, the hat I was wearing was not gonna make it. Yesterday, Ben and I flew back. We were at a retreat. Who were we there with, Ben? We were there with Maple Street Biscuit Company. In what town? Saint? Saint uh, Augustine. Saint Augustine. Saint Augustine. No, Augustine. Saint Augustine. Augustine. Yeah, we were we were at Saint Augustine for a retreat. For those of you that don't know about Maple Street Biscuit yet, uh, you will. Um, they are expanding. Uh, across the country. The reason that the place feels special is because it is. It's not just as texting me. Hold on. It's about the people. And they truly want to serve the community. It's a really cool story. Uh, the food's awesome. How about those chicken fingers, buddy? Hey. Ben. Yeah? How about those chicken fingers? <laughs> Ben's already on to his... Uh, what is that Nintendo Switch? Yep. So yeah, they are rolling out some new chicken fingers on October 25th. They taste really good. They do. They're amazing. You guys would have been proud of Benjamin at the uh, Maple Street Biscuit. He uh, he's the only one to ever do a, a session of Maple Street Biscuit without a shirt. <laughs> and he was at the event the whole time without shoes. <laughs> Uh, you're not gonna be able to do that, buddy. It's not gonna go high enough. No. Well, you could try it, but I don't think it will. I think you'll lift the roof right off. Nope. So what I would do is actually set this on two pallets and then come in, and it'll be high enough you can just slide it. What do you think of that plan? All right. What are you doing? What am I doing? We're running low on ratchet straps. <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna secure it. This is called load securement. You're in. Just wash your tires. There we go. So we got the dunk tank platform. Austin's bringing the lumber yard. Box truck's full. So this whole pile's gotta go, Austin? Yeah, just about. Let's go. Welcome to Paul Bu to the Paul Bunyan Show. Yes, we made it. I think I'm in the right spot. What a goof. Austin, your your hands are black, dude. Yeah. What's up? What's up with that? Oh, I just been working. <laughs> What do your hands look like, by the way? Oh, just a little <laughs> pine tar. Just pine tar. I'd say you want to level it. Go ahead and put it on. Yeah. It'll be all right. Hope it fits. It's not too small. How far you got on your engine? You can come a little bit, half inch maybe. So what we can do is put it at an angle. No, screw a dinger. Screw a board to get you. Yep. Is that uh, how they say it in Wisconsin? A dinger? Yeah. Yeah. That is. That is a. Screw a dinger on there. Uh, what happened, man? 
my hose is not even going to be able to use work. <laughs> I, 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 I judge the length of my hose a little longer than it actually is. Oh, everybody does. We're going to have to slide it over, Austin. Hey, how much is in there? How far does that take for me to empty? We're up to here on the... Are you kidding falling. me? Yeah. So I've only got 100 gallons left. Okay. I bet you we'll get it in here. Really? There is probably 60 gallons of room in this tank yet. I got news for you guys. I don't think I could stand on a flu pan like this. We should put a little bit of vinegar in there and clean her up. Nothing in the front yet. I tell you what, this sawmill's coming in handy, Fred. Got about a half inch in the front. No, see what I was talking about before, you can't see that gush of sap because the floats, so it won't foam or nothing because that floats way down yonder. I got or you. That, where it, New design. Yep. And these won't slide off because you gotta go like this. Look they at hook, that. They hook in there pretty good. Yep. That's smart. So you need a new flu pan for your evaporator, right, Nate? <laughs> Yeah, I'm making two. Check it out. We're starting the tour in the theater room here. So, theater room. Cool table. There's a fireplace down here. I'm in the basement. Full bathroom in this basement. Yeah, we're just taking a quick tour, buddy. If somebody wanted to come hang out, they know what we're not, you know. It's a decent little place. I've never brought food in on a pallet before, I can tell you. That's the first. We brought food in on a pallet, so kitchen. TV. TV, you're giving us the tour. Have you been everywhere, Ben? What's in here? This goes to the garage. Okay. Little sitting living room here. Let's go front porch. You gonna show me the place? So, okay. We've already done the downstairs. Well, you know what? We didn't do that. So you saw the front stairs. Let's go up the back stairs. So Matt's staying in here, right? We got. Okay, Matt's downstairs. He's got a bathroom here. We got. So this will be Matt's room. Mr. Emmerich, to you. And then this is like another den. And then we got more stairs. Yep, this is like the back stairwell. Okay, so Jess and Kevin are in here. They got a full bath. So turn light, I'm gonna show everybody. So there's a full hey, you don't have to get in every bed and mess it up. Oh, there's no bathroom. fire pit back there. Nice deck here. And party lights, man. Party lights. So you're saying the attic's blocked off? This is just a linen closet. Maybe there isn't a third floor. Jess, is there an attic? You know what? I think it's right here, buddy. We went right by it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Third floor. Extra beds. Think there's a little bathroom up here? What do you think? You can sleep a lot of people here. Okay, it's utility. There's a secret passage. There's a secret passage. You see it? What are you talking about? 
And then uh, down these stairs and go either way. Beautiful home. All right. That was a good passage. Cool. What do you guys think? Nice place. Nothing. It's not bad. Too many it stairs. A lot of stairs. What do you think, Fred? Nice little setup. Oh, it is. I couldn't visualize it. What's that? The evaporator, or the whole city. Oh, needs chickens in here. Chickens. Would it hold cows? Sheep or goats? Sheep would work. Matt, do you know the lowdown on this evaporator? Not really, a little bit. Gallon per hour, how does it work? About 150 gallon per hour. Wow, so that'd be a little over three gallons of syrup without an RO. About two, three gallons of syrup with an RO, depending on how sweet your sap was. Right. It's got a max flue band on it, which means it's got 13 inch flues. It's a vortex arch from leader with uh, it's got a blower on top, a blower for air underneath and a blower for air up front. So it's got two blowers. Two hot, two blowers. What's yeah. that supposed to do? Give it better evaporation or better? It gives better combustion. It helps burn up the gases and stuff in the fridge. Is that? You can see there's no smoke coming out of the stack, no sparks. Well, these guys with all these plastic tents wouldn't like it if we had sparks. Nice. nice. More fencing, Carpenter. We need more fencing. <laughs> <clears throat> Jeez, look at this. Looks like uh, looks like the Morgans have arrived. Now that's an entrance. These guys are putting the hoses together. You ready? Yep. It's going really slow. And it looks like we got some bourbon barrel pieces in there. Well, it's not a very fast flow. This is not a good sign. I bet you gotta open the lid. Could be, I don't know if that one has a lid. There it is. Well, it's not the greatest syrup in the world, but it is maple syrup. What's it taste like? It's okay. Like, is it the best syrup you've ever tasted? I mean, I've had worse. Oh yeah? We're going in, buddy. Syrup is going in the dunk tank. Nice. What do you got, Trevor? Still flowing good? Yeah. I think you're the same height as the lift. I think so. I think I yeah. need to get the pilot jack under it and get as much as Make sure you block it. I don't see any leaks. But no cap. That's just a violation of Bissell Maple Farm rules. No leaks yet. You need to put a sign on it. This is syrup. I... This is not water. It's it slightly filling up. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> take, a, take a swig of that. And through East End, tasting bourbon maple syrup for the first time. <laughs> that's that's really good. That's amazing, guys. Hey, thank you. That is awesome. It's legit. Actually goes in a bourbon barrel. Oh, well, that, that, that's, that's crazy. That's really, really good, dude. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for uh, all the wood you've helped us uh, oh, I, boil I sap over anyway, there. You guys have been great neighbors. That's, that's awesome stuff. <laughs> thank you. You need goggles. Just keep the sawdust out of your eyes. We just stuck a tree in there. Stuck another one in there. What do you 
you guys doing? You guys stealing firewood from you guys? Jeez. Jeff, you giving them firewood? Jeez, man. Or are they just Why taking it? <laughs> look at this. You guys look guilty. Right you look guilty. <laughs> See that smart? You look guilty. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> this is impressive. This is all mats. How about that for your tree line, huh? This is ridiculous. Very cool. Listen, give me one good reason why I should face the wrath of your mother by letting you go on a maple syrup dunk. It's not, it's not gonna hurt me. It's gonna be fun. Listen, me not getting murdered by your mother it's a very good reason to not. You're not gonna get murdered by mommy. She's not a murderer. So Matt's driving us to the Bunyan show here on Saturday and pointed out that uh, we're running a little late. And then we got a call from Fred. See, I grabbed my extra boots here for the dunk tank. And then I also grabbed Fred's boots. <laughs> so, so Fred has no boots. <laughs> Fred is currently shoeless. <laughs> he is barefoot heading to Bunyan so we're going to have a little scavenger hunt for Fred leaves are starting to change Matthew they're, they're starting to get real pretty steam coming off that water so we're taking water through this little pump this little Honda pump and we are pumping it up into this tank here. Mark, this is crazy, isn't it? Mark Earlston, everybody. Hello. What do you think? A lot of people. Did you taste the syrup just to make sure it's real? I have, I have not tasted it yet. Make sure it's real, far. Mark. We don't want anyone getting uh, cheated here. Hey, Austin, can you get a shot there of the, the sap hey, coming in? in? We got the best tree right here. That's a good one. It's a good one. That's one I would tap. And uh, this is where sap comes from. And then it's got its own lines there. It must be coming down them lines, Austin. How's it going, guys? Not too bad. Hey, you got a little sawdust in here. Yeah. Dry it up a little bit. Your uh, syrup out of the coat is we are having a hard time keeping the cold. Now we put a little bit of that syrup in there when it rinse the coat out. I threw a whole pat of butter in there. Oh, did you? Yeah. And as long as it makes good content. Oh gosh, good. Does that feel warm up there? Yes. Yeah, how's it smell? Good. All right. Did you get done more than once? Yes. So welcome everyone to the Paul Bunyan Show. We are here raising money for childhood leukemia through the Brian Morden Foundation. So all the donations are going to go to the Brian Morden Foundation and everybody here is in support in some way either by buying a ribbon which is for five dollars gold is uh the color of childhood leukemia and the awareness of it so we're selling the ribbons for five dollars a ribbon or twenty dollars per throw on uh the maple syrup dunk tank so let's get started so, hey you guys hear that that's the sound of nate's beat dragon it is it is i don't know why i'm tying my shoes so we got two comments, one from Matt Moyer says good luck, one from Mallard Pie Farmhouse, great thing you are doing. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Who's up? I just hope I don't get stung a hundred times. Oh, wow, you're not even touching One ball, twenty dollars. I'm burning calories just here worrying. <laughs> I'm like, it's uh, nerve wracking. It is kind of cold, I gotta say. Connor, you feel good?
Can I yell and distract me? No, that's not fair. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> but I don't say it like that. Your maple syrup, all right, Dave. <laughs> Do they make maple syrup in Canada? Every Saturday when we were done eating breakfast, I just took the extra maple syrup off my kids' plate because they float pancakes. They don't drizzle it on there. That's that's where this all came from is my kids. <laughs> Benny, you gonna dump me, dude? Just me block Oh no. Just get a the bar. Oh! Paul Bunyan! <laughs> he looks like a sopping wet Paul Bunyan. <laughs> we got some redneck engineering going on here. <laughs> oh man, that's cold! I'm a maniac, maniac on the floor And I'm dancing like I've never danced before Did you eat a lot of paint chips when you were a kid? It sounds like you've raised $500 so far What's that? You've raised $500 so oh, far sweet! $25,000 for the syrup <laughs> <laughs> You need more? You get it? No, I want it I thought he called it. Try it! Alright, get warm up. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dump you. I'm going to dump you. Athlete. Oh! Man, that was so close. There we are! Alright, are you okay there? It's all right. Oh man, it's so slippery! <laughs> <laughs> what you get me into, man? <laughs> all right, you ready? All right. This is yeah. awesome. This is awesome. Got some Baker guys coming over to <laughs> do some dunking. Got my own Woodmiser guys doing dunking. Oh, that's great. All right, buddy, let's go. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Sure, dude. You ready? Yeah. It's pretty slick. Feature, eh? Get through that nail. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs>
Is there? Is that not? Oh yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So Austin has to run the generator, to run the air compressor, to run the pump. That's what he's got to do. And he's slowly moving her down. What? Huh? Let's get a shot of that. There's your flow rate. <laughs> That's about as fast as it was uh, going in, really. We got that tote full. Oh, nice. Um, that tote's full. Uh, I gotta go get the uh, gasket for it and haul it down in. So of I course it did. Fished it out and hung it up, so I'll seal this one up when we get to go and then the rest will fit in here. So this is what we got left to fill, right? Yeah. We got turned plenty. this over. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we'll be going back with less than we came with. My ears. Yeah. Most of the syrup was in my ears. I know. It's kind of pretty with it here late at night. Well, the end of the show. And the gentle sound of the air compressor. Nothing like an oilless air compressor. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wood miser hat on. So thanks for the hat, Daryl. I'm trying to move away from our air compressor. So it is so it is so loud. But I really appreciate Daryl. I've had a lot of help on this thing. Uh, my team's been awesome. Um, Joel Olke from Leader. I got Mark Girlston here helping. Matt Emmerich was a huge help coming in from Somerset County to help. Uh, the Bailey family. So we got Jess, Kevin, uh, their son Trevor. Um, Austin, as you know, I'm watching the channel. He's always a big help. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it was fun. Um, if I could explain what it's like going into a vat of syrup, it's different than water. Just kind of like it feels like you're getting a hug. That's what it feels like. A maple hug. So yeah, hey, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.